Hey everyone, welcome back to Fresh Squeezed RC, and thanks for tuning in because on today's episode we're going to be taking a look at this brand new Kyosho Rage 2.0. And I just want to say I'm extremely excited and honored that Kyosho decided to send me one of these to review and show all you guys, and I get to be one of the very first people to get my hands on one of these. So without further ado, let's get into this box. Man, it looks pretty awesome. Hmm? Hmm? I got the green one, uh, so pretty cool. I don't have been a lot of green RC, so I'm stoked on that. And so far it looks good, so let's get some of this tape off. Alright, before we get carried away, let's talk about this. So, in this bag, you get your toolkit and some stickers. Um, and I will say this, it comes with a really, really cool wrench. It's got almost every size imaginable on it. And of course, on wrenches and some extra shock parts and stickers because everyone loves stickers. Also, owner's manual and a bind plug. They say you should read the owner's manual before you operate this. So you should. Standard remote. They have all the uh, all the trim knobs and functions on I me. Mean, and guys, you know I'm kind of a Kyosho guy. I really like the Kyosho stuff, but I've had excellent success with it. You've seen the MP9E and the Mad Crusher and the Psycho Cruiser that I have, and I mean those among others. And I mean they all do rad stuff. So I mean there's a reason for it. They make quality product. All right, are you ready for the awesome? That's cardboard. Ooh, ooh, but wait, let's take this plastic off together. You know, people like those things satisfying. Probably more satisfying for you because I didn't actually get to see it. But I'm actually really impressed now that it's off because the body has a really cool finish on it. Kind of a matte finish and it's also got gloss parts to kind of contrast. It has a really cool driver figure. Um, I mean, this is pretty neat. Pretty cool car. Kind of got a, kind of like a futuristic, it's kind of cool, it's kind of a mashup between, you know, scale features and kind of like a, you know, a fantasy car or some, you know, your normal truggy or something that you'd see. I mean, suspension feels pretty great. Fast forward to taking the body off. A couple of days later, I have actually already used this car and it's holding up extremely well. So this truck is based on the Phaser chassis. Um, this is kind of the redesigned version. And I mean, I can tell you, I can see, you know, where some of the, the revisions are. You know, there's some different webbing and strengthening here. I mean, the shock towers uh, are extremely beefy and have been, you know, extremely durable thus far. Uh, it does come with a... 14 turn brushed motor. It has a 60 amp ESC. It's waterproof. Also the servo is waterproof. It has full ball bearings. It has metal gear differentials. Uh, it has metal axles. I mean the shocks are, are big and it has, uh, they are plastic body shocks, but it has aluminum shock caps. And I mean five millimeter shock shafts, which is not something you see a lot on a tent scale truck. So it's really cool to see it on this. All right, a few other key things to touch on. Uh, you can't really see it, but the motor mount here allows for easy gear mesh. And we're gonna look at a picture of that right now. It also comes equipped with a Dean's plug. Um, the wheels are, you know, they're like a 2.2 size wheel and tire. Uh, and they actually seem to work really good. Now, at some point I will hit this with some more power. So we'll see what happens then. All right, so I mean, honestly, it's got, you know, that's about it. It does have all hex hardware and it has a slipper clutch. I mean, all the great things you would expect to see. And I mean, I can tell you the the layout and the way the suspension feels and reacts. And I'm, I've had some experience with this car at this point and it's, it's really, really done well. gonna have 
have to leave y'all hanging for a couple days. I've still got a bunch of video to edit, but as you can see, this thing is rad and I've experienced no failures. And I think for the money, which is $200, you cannot buy a better RC car. So check back in a couple days. I want to say again, a huge thank you to Kyosho for making this video happen. Also big thanks to Reefs RC, Push Rod 3D, and OMG RC. Don't forget to check out my Instagram, which is rcelemonade, and let me know what you think. And don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And I'll see you all in a couple days.